Hello and welcome to Alluris. I'm David in Ark, and uh, I want to thank the uh, devs for getting me a key code to be able to uh, open up and play this game. I don't think it's out yet, um, but uh, and, and uh, I believe this is like early access beta at this point, so there may be some bugs or what have you. In any case, very cool. I did jump into the settings real quickly just to uh, turn off the music because I have no idea if it's copyright uh, flagged or not. I also bumped up the graphics and turned down the ambiance a little bit. Um, but essentially what you do is, uh, you go on an adventure using cards to determine what happens. So it's a lot like, uh, reigns. If you see me play reigns where you choose one side or the other in order to make your decisions, uh, it's, it's kind of like that, but much more complex, at least from what I've seen. So you get a random name. Oh, can you put your own name? Oh, I didn't know you could put your own name or you can do a random name. There you go. Everest Baggins. We shall be Everest Baggins. All right. And the way uh, you uh, turn your cards is you drag one way or the other, and then you let go and it flips. So you can be male, female, or huh, spooky non-binary dude. All right. I'm going to be a guy. Let's see. I can be human. Uh, it looks like an elf, a dwarf, a tree. I have no idea what that is. Uh, and I don't know what that is. The lock is in the way, so I can't really tell. So I'm assuming that at some point we get to unlock additional characters, just like um, your background. Uh, we've got a farmer. Uh, that's probably a thief. Um, I have no idea. But there's all kinds of different backgrounds that we can choose eventually. I'm assuming we unlock those. In the meantime, I say we start. Do do do. Oh. It's birthday. Okay, so on the screen, you have health at the top, uh, what level your character is, the gold, and karma. I, I'm not sure what karma does. I think that's like how well people like you, maybe. I don't know. Um, there are treasure chests down the side, and then you have like who you are and what your um, gender is. And then as you get stuff, it ends up over here on the right-hand side. I have no idea if the mouse is going to show up or not because, you know... Uh, G-Force recording is doing a weird mouse thing. So anyhow, all right, you've come to, you've come of adventuring age and your uncle offers to take you to a Loris to sell you an artifact he found. All right, let's go. The two of you load up the cart and head out, taking the road to a Loris. Oh, it's an orc ambush. The cart is attacked by an orc. Your uncle yells for you to run. Run, all right, so I can either help fight or I could go get help. Nah, I think I'm going to help fight, dude. Ooh, that took a mighty punch out of our health. Your uncle takes a bad hit, but the two of you destroy the creature. Your uncle remarks that the creature must have come from the mountains. There's a rumor that Baron Dread is building an army up there. Before you stands the city of Aloris. Well, that's mighty convenient. All right, yep, bring your uncle to a tavern. You drag your uncle to the tavern. He tells you that someone will need to stop Baron Dread before he marches on Erloris. They'll need to be extremely powerful, though. And with me, I have my injured uncle. <laughs> okay, then. A night's sleep can heal anything. Ah, in the tavern. With my injured uncle. Get a room with your uncle. Sure. Ah. It healed us up. And wow, took away some gold. However, we are level two. No more karma, though. Okay, as you settle down for the evening, your uncle hands you the treasure he wanted to sell. He tells you it's for your birthday, and you should sell it here in town. And, mighty conveniently, here's the town merchant. All right, he offers to buy your treasure. Keep the loot or sell the loot. Well, I, I guess we just sell it. And we got some money. Okay. You sell the large piece of treasure for gold. From here, you're on your own. But Baron Dread is out there. And you don't have much time. I love the background. Look at that. The background. You, up in the upper right corner, you see candles flickering. And there's one down in the lower left. And then it looks like it's kind of embossed or something. Like it's on leather. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, that's... Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, 
The old shopkeeper offers you a deal on an old loot. I'm no musician. I'm a grand musician. Uh, I'm no musician. Uh, maybe I should get a room? No, I don't really need a room. I can rest. Oh, well, actually, I guess I could heal. Man, that's going to take up some of my money, though. Ouch, 20 gold. Okay. Oh, tavern hangout. The tavern is where deals happen. It could pay to hang around. All right, let's hang around. An old man takes a seat at your table and offers a job. He needs an old mill on the road cleared out. It's filled with ghosts. All right, sure. He offers little in the way of details, but he insists it is his legal property. I'm sure it is. I don't do real estate as a policy. <laughs> uh, I will rid the mill of ghosts. No problem. Piece of cake. Well, guess we'll get back on the road and head to the old mill, I suppose. Oh, look at that. Look at the background change. That is so cool. Wizards duel in the road. A pair of robed figures hurl spells at each other, completely blocking the road. Slowly walk around or wait for them to finish. I have a bad feeling that no matter what we choose, we lose. But we'll wait for them to finish. I knew we were going to get hit. You wait with everyone else, growing so bored you swear it's painful. Mm -hmm. Cost me 10 health. Thanks. Game trail. This looks like a good spot to do some hunting. Okay. Try to hunt some food. After a small search, you don't find any good creatures to eat. Well, tartar sauce. The river. You happen upon a river. Ignore the river. Go fishing. Oh, let's go fishing. I mean, I don't really have a fishing pole. You fish out a surprisingly pristine set of fancy dining cups and pots. I have a fancy dining set. Oh, okay. Oh, a pack of rats. Just a common pack of rats. Sure. Oh, a fruit cart. All right. Yeah, I'll take some fruit. Hey, and we got healed up. All right. Shopkeeper hands you some fresh fruit. It was delicious, and it healed our body. All right, Alorus. No, I know. I want to keep on walking. Two men arguing. What is up with everybody fighting in this town? All right, they point at each other, claiming each is the real one. You're both real. Neither of you are real. How about you're both real? Yeah, how about that? You're both real. They stop and look at each other. After a few minutes' discussion, you find they are long-lost brothers. Thankful for the discovery, hey, they toss you a sack of gold. Awesome. Uh-oh, there's an injured woman. You find an injured hag woman. Leave the old hag behind or take her with you. Ah, I guess we could use a companion. Sure, why not? We'll take her. A bridge troll. Oh, boy. He who would cross must answer me these questions three. No, I don't, I don't do ominous riddles. I'll answer your questions. Um, oh, we have karma. We have like 11 karma. Is it because we brought the old hag with us? I, I don't do riddles, man. Where's the picnic basket? Where's the old mill? As you walk down the road, you come across a carefully prepared picnic basket of fruit. Eat the fruit. Take the fruit basket with you. Ooh, can I take it with me? Ah, we have a fruit basket. A mean bird. Like an angry bird? I don't know. That's a nose I won't follow. Well, you know what? I'll fight the bird. Ooh. No, I, I don't want to go into town. I'm trying to find an old mill. Oh, venture into the forest. Sure, why not? The foreboding forest. Ahead lays a forest with ominous presence. Head deeper or stay in the forest? I don't know. Guess we'll head deeper. As you walk deeper into the forest, you realize the path out has changed. You're no longer familiar with your surroundings. And check out the background. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So it's it's also day 24. I noticed the days. Is it a day every time you play a card? I didn't look. A violent cyclone of magic springs up before you. A mana storm. Leap to cover. Dive inside. I'm feeling adventurous. Let's dive inside the cyclone of magic. Oh, holy cow. You dive headfirst into the cyclone. You're battered by mystical winds and tossed into the forest, covered in odd scars. Something is different about you. We have wild magic. 
Uh, it's no use running. She's faster than you. Uh, I'm going to panic. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Your journey has come to an end. Start again. Start over. Start over. It's my only option. All right. So we lasted 26 days. <laughs> Not even a month. Uh, so I think, uh, yeah, under the gallery, you have a thing for fallen heroes. And so here we have, um, Lionel took, uh, or I guess, is that a T, a J? I don't know what that is. Um, but that was the first, uh, my first playthrough I actually lasted 39 days. I had no idea. Oh, I was single. Okay. So there's Elvris Baggins. Lasted 26 days, died in the Misty Forest, wasn't married, and was level 6. And then you also see the stuff that he died with. That is a very, very cool. Uh, this I have a feeling this Fallen Hero section is going to get pretty big um, by the time we're done with this. So there you go. Oh, card backs. That's cool. So you have Classic. Oh, Beta Tester. I guess because we got a code, we have a Beta Tester card back. Ooh, I'm going to use that. Oh, there's also a PAX one, which obviously I don't have, so I'm assuming that had we gone to PAX, we could have got a code and got the PAX card back. But I definitely want to do the beta tester, um, so that's very cool. So let's, uh, I guess probably if we could enter the promo code, that would get us the PAX card back. So there you go. All right. Awesome. Where did he go? That is the game of Alorus. Uh, this is this intrigues me so much. Um, I can't remember if I said or not. I don't. I don't think I did. Um, but I, I was actually watching um, Catherine of Sky, uh, and you can go check out her channel uh, if you're not familiar with her. But I was watching her play this, and it just it is so. I don't. Know, it was just so different. It was so cool, and yet at the same time, it reminded me a lot of Reigns, and so um, I wanted to check out. Uh, this kind of, you know, swipe right, left adventure type game just to see what it was like. And uh, I'm so thankful that the uh, devs reached out to me, actually, and said, hey, you want a code to try the game? Here you go. So thank you very much to Catherine of Sky for playing it. And thank you very much to the devs for uh, giving me a code to play Alorus. I don't know what you think. Leave your comments, problems, suggestions, horror stories down in the comments section below. Let me know. Do you, do you want to watch me play some more of this? Do you guys want to uh, see more of this on the channel? Let me know down in the comment section below. You can also hit that like button that will also let me know your thoughts as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to War Heroes Gaming, Gamer Gall, and Mr. Spooky7 for supporting me on Patreon. I appreciate that so, so much. And we will see you next time, possibly, in Alorus. Have a great day.